Today, we've got some exciting news for all you gaming and tech enthusiasts. We're diving into the Kirin 9020 chipset and its gaming performance, comparing it to the Kirin 9010. Huawei's latest chip promises a significant leap, but how much better is it really? Let's find out. The Huawei Mate 70 series is here and it's packing a punch with the Kirin 9020 chip. It's designed to offer a much better experience, especially in gaming, than its predecessor, the Kirin 9010. But how does it stack up in real world performance? We've got some hands-on testing data to break it down. A Weibo tipster recently tested the Kirin 9020's gaming capabilities using the Huawei Mate 70 Pro Plus. The testing included three popular games, Honor of Kings, Genshin Impact, and Honkai Impact 3. The results are impressive, but there's a twist. Let's start with Honor of Kings. On the Mate 70 Pro Plus, the game ran at an average frame rate of 119.4 FPS, with a peak temperature of 41.7 degrees Celsius and a power consumption of 3.9 watts. The phone was able to consistently push out 120 frames with HD display quality, making it a smooth experience for casual and competitive gamers alike. Genshin Impact showed this slightly different story. With the Kirin 9020, the game managed to run at an average of 50.9 FPS, with power consumption at 5.6 watt and a temperature of 48.4 degrees Celsius. While not bad, it's clear that Genshin Impact, a more graphically demanding game, pushed the chipset a little harder. Lastly, Honkai Impact 3 ran at an average of 30.8 FPS, with power consumption hitting 6.1 watt and the temperature peaking at 50.4 degrees Celsius. This game is definitely on the heavier side, and the chip did show signs of struggling under these intense conditions. But it's not just gaming when the Kirin 9020 shows its strength. The tipster also tested the chip's app launch performance. The Mate 70 Pro Plus launched 30 apps in two rounds, completing the task in 188 seconds. Impressive, right? Even more interesting is that 25 of these apps stayed live in the background for nearly three hours without any major performance hiccups. This suggests the Kirin 9020 excels at multitasking and handling background processes. So what does this mean compared to the Kirin 9010? The 9020 clearly delivers better frame rates, lower power consumption, and improved temperature management. In honor of Kings, it shines. But in more demanding games like Genshin Impact and Honkai Impact 3, the performance isn't quite on par with the latest Snapdragon chips, especially the Snapdragon 8 Elite. The Snapdragon 8 Elite still holds the edge in gaming performance with higher frame rates and better overall efficiency in heavy gaming scenarios. However, Kirin 9020 does hold its own. When these advancements, Huawei is still somewhat behind Qualcomm and MediaTek when it comes to raw chip performance. Thanks to the US ban, Huawei lacks access to some of the latest chip making tools, which holds them back from reaching the same level of performance as Snapdragon and Dimensity. However, the constant improvements in the Kirin lineup show that Huawei is working hard to catch up. With more development and better access to advanced technology, we might see Huawei pushing boundaries even further in the near future. That's it for today's video. What do you think about the Kirin 9020? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.